The Pond Prowler 8 is definitely one of the biggest highlights of my fishing career. I've had so many great, uh, great fishing trips and memories with this boat already. However, I get a lot of questions from people asking, hey, I'm fishing this lake, I'm fishing that lake, I'm doing this type of fishing, should I get the Pond Prowler? So I thought I'd kind of make a video just explaining the overall pros and cons of this boat, what I would use it for, what I wouldn't use it for, and is it worth it for your overall type of fishing? So stay tuned, this is gonna be a very informative video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go like pros and cons list here, and I'm gonna go back and forth from a pro to a con to a pro to a con. Uh, we're gonna talk about the first pro here, and that's transportation. As you guys know, I drive a 2018 Subaru Forester, and I don't have a truck, I don't have a trailer, I don't have hauling capacity, I don't have any of those things. So this boat is perfect for what I do. If you have a small car, some ratchet straps, and a lot of determination, you, anyone can have this boat. Like it, it's possible for anyone. You can get into some roads and places where you wouldn't be able to with like a regular big boat. So yeah, the transportation on this is incredible. Another thing is you don't need a boat ramp. As you see today, I actually just parked my car up here and we just loaded the boat down right onto the water. We don't need a boat launch, which is really cool. You can get into some lakes that nobody has ever taken, you know, taken a boat out on. So it's really cool on that aspect as well. Transportation, definitely a big pro here. However, one con is the setup. So since this goes in your car or truck, you can't have all the gear on it. Like you can't have the downriggers hanging off, you know, the, the chairs and everything, the mats, because it'll fly away. So when you get to the lake, you have to actually like literally build this boat on the water, which does take some time. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes for me to get everything on this boat perfectly set up just the way I like. Um, so that definitely, you know, that's definitely a con, right? It definitely takes some time. You have to get up an extra 10 or 15 minutes early. You know, say I wanna be on the water at six, I gotta be there at 5.45 because I got 15 minutes of setup before I'm actually fishing. However, one pro here is the diversity. So what's incredible about this boat is you can pretty much fish every type of water, right? So for ponds, ponds is perfect with this thing. If you have a small pond or even some bigger ponds around your house, you wanna just cruise with this, works great. Uh, small to medium sized lakes, I've done amazing with this so far. The lake I'm at today, I would say is a, a good medium sized lake for the state of Idaho. Um, and it's done really well. You just gotta watch for that, you know, that wind and bad weather. Um, now, big lakes, big lakes are iffy. So I have taken it out on some big lakes. I took it on a giant lake in Wyoming. I've taken it on the uh, Lake Cascade, which in Idaho is the fourth largest lake uh, in the state. Um, I've taken it on some really big bodies of water and what I've noticed so far is you're totally fine most days. However, you've gotta watch the weather. Bad weather on a big lake can get really, really nasty fast. So that's one thing you've gotta just be a lot more safety minded, right? If you're on a bigger body of water, but it is 100% doable, which is nice. Now a con here is accessibility and this has a lot more, you know, in terms of the big lakes, right? So if you're on, if you live near big lakes, you have to cover a ton of water. This probably isn't the best boat for you because you're, you're basically fishing wherever you launch your boat, you're fishing in that vicinity of where you launch your boat. You know, you're not gonna be able to run 10 miles up, up the lake, right, to get to your spot. That's just not happening. So even if you put a decent sized motor on the back, you're still kind of pushing it. So, you know, in that case, it's definitely a con, but that's really only if you're going on medium to medium big lakes. There we are. Oh, we are. <laughs> oh, we are figuring them out now. I still got that other kokanee in the bottom of the net. I haven't even put it in the cooler yet. This fish is stripping. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is the longest run I have ever had from a kokanee. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Holy crap, these fish are giant. Look at both of these fish, back to back. Just freaking giant kokanee. Oh my goodness. What a freaking day. Beautiful. 
Oh, this is fun. Now, a huge pro here is price. So I kind of, I, I listed it out to a couple couple levels here, right? For $1,000, this boat gets you fishing on the water. You have everything you need to go out and catch fish. You're, you're, you'll be okay, right? For $2,000, that gets you a lot of extra little bells and whistles. Gets you a lot of really cool things on this boat that you can stack up. Then for about $3,000, you can pretty much get the best setup possible. So right here, I think I've probably put around $2,500 to $2,500 $2,500 in this and I pretty much have this rigged up exactly how I want it is the perfect setup obviously I have little mods and things I'm fixing um, but it is just I, I I've got this boat so dialed into what I need now and that was kind of my price range so obviously way cheaper than any other boat <laughs> Ooh, that sun's going over the hill there, so we uh, we got to chug along here. Now, a con here is space, right? So yes, you can get into a lot of other little areas, but you you got to pay for that, right? And in this case, this is a very small boat. Uh, as you see here, we got another chair. I'm actually bringing my brother out today for some kokanee. It's very, with two people, there is like no wiggle room. It is very, very tight. Um, pretty much no extra room for gear or anything. If you just have one person, there's a little bit of room, but not much. So, you know, it, it's a thing you've got to, it's a give and take, right? Yeah, if you want something small to go in your truck or car without a trailer, but you're also not going to have a lot of space, uh, you know, to like fishing room. So definitely a con is the space. One pro, however, it's not a big boat and it's not a big fancy boat. So you have almost zero upkeep, right? You don't have a big motor, at least for me, I don't have a motor on the back. So I don't have to worry about upkeep and maintenance, which is really nice. I just store this on the side of my uh, side of my yard with the tarp over the top, and it works perfectly fine, right? There's nothing that you really have to like fix or or you know manage. You just basically have to charge your batteries. That's it. It's so simple for upkeep. It's stupid easy. Now, one more pro here. I couldn't think of another con, so I'm just going to do one more pro is safety. This boat is very hard to like tip or fall over. Uh, it can get a little rocky if you have two people, but for the most part, it's very, very stable. I've been on bass boats that are less stable than this thing. You know, it's got that like pontoon, like kind of uh, catamaran style, right? So it's pretty much Intippable. It is impossible to tip this boat. You would fall out if anything, um, but even then, that's per still pretty rare. If you do encounter big wakes or waves, make sure to make your boat go towards those wakes that you're going into them, not rolling. And as long as you do that and stay low to the boat until the wakes are over, you're fine. It's it's a very safe and easy boat to chug around in. This boat is definitely not for everyone, right? There are some people that are going to need a bigger setup or maybe they want a kayak or some other things, right? It's definitely not for everyone, but I do think majority of people could fish this boat and have a great time. And the nice thing is, is you can make mods on this boat based to exactly what type of fish you're targeting and what you want in the boat, which is something that you can't get with a lot of other boats. So yeah, if this video helped you guys, if you have another question on this boat that you, you know, you're not sure whether it's for you or not, reach out to me on Instagram at Humbug Videos or leave a comment here and I can help you out as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, you're also going to love these two up here. Uh, these are also pond prowler videos that may help you in your uh, fishing journey here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time on Humbug Videos.